normally you'd be spraying full flat out and going to fill up all the time and it's pretty cool to watch to see the savings that you make. You're not wasting your monies up into thin air. So. G'day, I'm Cade Mudder. I'm a farmer in Midwest WA. We farm uh, pretty much just cropping. We grow a bit of wheat, a bit of canola and a little bit of barley. Put a bit of chemical fallow in, that's about it. Main weeds would be radish and ryegrass mostly, I'd say. The interest in the bilberry, we actually had an opportunity to put it on my previous sprayer, found the savings were fairly good so decided to get the next sprayer with it on as well. Saving 80 to 70 percent of what you should be spraying out over the whole paddocks. When we're blanket spraying we'd never put out full label rate of the chemical because of the cost of it but when you're spot spraying you can put that full label rate out and know you're saving anyway and that plant will be dead after you've sprayed it. There's no coming back from it. The installation of the bilberry system was pretty straightforward. It was no different to buying a normal machine. Everything was just business as usual. It pretty much runs itself. You just set and forget, really. 13 nozzles per camera, and they all feed back to a couple node boxes that all feed to the display in the cab. They got availability to do some weed mapping on the bilberry system. The advantages of having the mapping is you'll be able to put more rates of pre-emergent chemicals out where the ryegrass is and where you know it's coming before it's even got up. So. I've used both the technologies, the green on green and green on brown. Picks out the summertime weeds in the brown just as well as what the cameras will pick radish out of wheat. You can afford to put a higher rate on of whatever you're spraying, so you're putting big droplets out and you know you're going to hit your target with a fine mist behind it. The weeds die whether they're 10 foot or 1 foot because it's getting such a good shot of chemical at one time there. Refills normally is about anywhere between once a day or maybe once every day and a half. We normally go at 100 litres per hectare with the bilberry because you're getting a good amount of water out and you can have a low down pressure with the system that we've got. You'll cover that in a day pretty quick because you're not getting out to stock. I've had to give bilberry a call a few times, just pretty run of the mill stuff and they can remote support into it to fix pretty much everything. It's quite handy because when you have a bit of a glitch or something happens with the computer there or maybe a new algorithm or something comes out, they can just load it straight in. You don't really have to muck around and wait for people to come down and fix it. They're always getting better. The more people that have it, the better it'll get, especially in Australia in our conditions. Every week there's a new one coming out, so yeah, they're pretty on to it. You're going to have to pay for a subscription. They're pretty good with their updates and whatever. They'll ring you when something's there or they'll come out when they calibrate it and they'll go through all the computer if they are here, make sure everything's running sweet. Anyone out there looking for the bilberry system and if yeah, the opportunity is there for you to, to get it, I'd get it. 100%. Well, I'll keep probably getting it for all the times I can buy sprayers. At the end of the day, we are doing a little bit for the environment, not spraying as much over the crop, and you definitely won't go backwards having the bilberry, that's for sure.